So let's start out by having a look at the main toolbar here in Superior Drummer. Now up on the left hand side here we have the uh, menu for navigating the various pages of Superior Drummer. Here I'm on uh, the construct window where I build and edit my kits. Then I have the mixer page for internal mixing. Uh, the grooves page for accessing uh, my MIDI libraries. Uh, the mapping page obviously for mapping uh, various sounds to the keyboard. And I have my uh, bounce overlay here. Uh, for rendering my drums to disc, and then a settings or preferences page. Now next up you have the um, help menu here where you'll find the manual, uh, not that you'll need it after this, uh, effects guide, and also um, descriptions and MIDI layouts of any library that you have uh, loaded onto your system. Now next up we have the expansion pack uh, drop down here. And here's where you'll find any uh, expansion packs that you have loaded in. Um, the ones at the top here are Superior Drummer expansion packs, or SDXs. And the ones at the bottom are Easy Drummer expansion packs, or EasyXs. Now to load in a new kit, you would simply just uh, click on the kit, and you will see it loaded into the interface here. So I'm just going to go back and load in my uh, avatar kit. And this is the kit that ships with Superior Drummer. And I'll be using this mainly throughout the tutorial, uh, just because if you have Superior Drummer, you'll definitely have this kit. Now, lastly, we have the Load and Save menu. And this is where we can save uh, combined presets and access the uh, library's um, sort of default presets here that ship with it, or save your own uh, user presets here as well. Now you can also save kits as uh, projects and we'll be coming back and looking